Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Jay from JS Films. I have another AI app that you can try out where you can actually animate your mid-journey V5 character or any character, or any images using your iPhone. So with that being said, go ahead and go to the App Store on your iPhone device. I'm using an iPhone 12 mini and download Puppetry. And let's press play so I can show you how this all works. Basically, all you have to do is import any image. Uh, in my case, I'm using the Midjourney V5 image that I created a couple of days ago or prompted. And pretty much all you got to do next is just record a video. As you can see right here, I'm going to dismiss. And here you go. I'm going to line up my head and my face. Now, it is still a little bit janky, but I can see the potential of this, y'all. This is going to be some pretty cool stuff. I just recorded my audio and I'm aligning my face right now. Really, really tired. It's going to do a countdown. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Jay from Jay's Films and his video. I forgot what I said. Okay. All right, so once you're done with your recording, press stop. And what that's going to do is process it. It took about five minutes or so, depending on the length of your clip, I guess. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual result. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate your mid-journey V5 characters using your iPhone. That's pretty cool stuff right there. And that's pretty much it. That is how you animate your mid-journey V5 characters using an iPhone app called Puppeteer. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 5 courses on ArtStation, Udemy, or Gumroad. Additionally, I have consulting service now, so hit me up if you have any questions or need help in your Unreal Engine 5 projects.